Over the course of my time living in Germany, I have slowly learned how to work like a German. And it's been one of the best things that's ever happened to me. In this video, I'm going to explain that to you and to encourage you, if you don't already, to also work like a German. Now, as you guys probably know, I'm from the United States, but I've lived in Germany for quite some time now. And both of these countries happen to be some of the most productive in the world. Check this out. Germany and USA are both really high on this list of the world's most productive countries. The USA comes in at number 11 with an average of 1,767 hours worked over the course of the year, averaging $36.94 of productivity per person per hour. And Germany actually comes in higher at number seven with a lower average hours worked at 1,331, but a higher productivity per person per hour at $41.97. So despite working less hours, Germans are on average more productive per person than Americans. How can this be? But first, a quick message from Endel. Speaking of working, the sponsor of today's video, Endel, has played a huge role in my working life. You can't do that. Check. Yeah, that doesn't work. You can't do that. Yes, I can. No, no. Because theoretically, if you were to do that, and we would go, I would be able to take yours before you could take mine. So it doesn't work. You know, I'm making that Endel is an app that creates real time personalized soundscapes that are designed to help you relax, focus, and sleep. But I'm supported with the bishop. It doesn't matter because, in theory, if we were to play out, I take your king before you have a chance to get me back. So, no. Like now, this isn't like other focusing sounds or music. Its AI technology adapts in real time to personal inputs like your location, the weather, and heart rate. This is the rules of the game are there to provide us with this thinking. So I don't know what you want. All right, well, logically speaking, if I'm supporting- Incorrect, incorrect. I just explained it through logic, so what you have to choose a different venue, because logic is already played out. And it's neuroscience backed. Brainwave studies show that Endel provides the fastest and most consistent focus for people versus focus playlists on major streaming platforms. I use it all the time when I'm working. I'll use either focus or deep work, and it basically puts me in a hypnotic state where I stay on task and continue working. I also like to listen to it when I go on walks to inspire creativity. Because when you move, the app takes that into account and the AI adjusts the soundscapes accordingly. This is actually how I got the idea for making this sponsorship segment in a creative way. So guys, check it out. The first 100 people to sign up using the link in the description will get a free week of audio experiences. I highly recommend it, so check out Endel. All right, back to the video. All right, I'm gonna walk down to Starbucks. You guys want anything? With your legs? Why are you walking? It's because it's good for me. It's a car. Is that a no? Okay, I'll take it as a no. As you guys know, I grew up in the States and I went to college at Georgetown University, which really helped ingrain this hustle culture into me. I played a sport there, football, so basically for four years straight, my days were 5 a.m. to 7 p.m., sometimes to 9 p.m. when I had late nighttime classes. Many of my older teammates at Georgetown, once they graduated, went on to work in New York City, and when they would come back for visits on campus, they would tell us about their insane working life. They work 100-hour weeks and have no time for anything outside of work, just work, eat, and sleep. So this just seemed totally normal to me. This is how I learned that if you want to be productive in anything, this is how you have to work. And then I moved to Germany, became friends with my German teammates, and I learned about the concept of fire oven. Now, fire oven literally translates to celebration evening, but Germans use it to refer to the period when the workday is over. Now, I've mentioned the German work-life balance many times before, but I think that the prominence of the word Feierabend is really important here. In Germany, there is a clear cutoff and wall between work life and personal life. In 2014, Germany actually made it a law that companies could not email or call their employees outside of their work hours. 
That's how serious the break between work and personal life is in Germany. That's how serious Feyerabend is. Man, that is, it's a good cappuccino, guys. So if you've followed my channel for a while, I know that in 2016, I started making this documentary, Unicorn Town. It was a totally independent production, so I basically had to do every single job on it. And I absolutely grinded myself working on this. I'd work seven days a week from sunrise to sunset. Anytime I had free time outside of football, I would work on this documentary. And I did that for years. And a, a few years in, it almost started feeling hopeless. I was working so, so hard on it, so many hours doing this for years, and I felt like I just couldn't find the finish line. I couldn't get it to the end. And it was really frustrating. But then about two years ago, I totally changed how I worked on it. I stopped grinding myself with the long days and long hours. I would give myself limits. I'd say, okay, I'm only gonna work three hours on Unicorn today, or hey, I'm not gonna work on Unicorn Town at all this weekend. I'll start again on Monday. Basically, I started to respect the idea of Fire Robin. And lo and behold, once I made that change, I was finally able to push the movie across the finish line. I stopped working like this, and I started working like this. Because people in Germany take their personal and rest time so seriously, it allows them to take their work very seriously as well. Check out this clip from this BBC documentary where a British man is living a German lifestyle. It's called Make Me a German. This is where he goes in to work at a pencil factory. When you doesn't work, yeah. I see it. Yeah. yeah, you know, and normally, 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 and um, you go around, Clean yeah. machine. Okay. He said, no, 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 you don't rest. You know, you're here to work and you should be sweeping the floor. You know, he said, if I see you doing that, I'll just give you another machine. And then you'll be really busy. He's doing well, but he's a bit slow. So I think he will run into troubles. He has a lot to do. And right now, he isn't doing that much. Another interesting point for this is that, this is just my opinion, but it seems like people in Germany are less identified with their job. In the States, people's whole self-identity is wrapped up into what they do for work, but because of this system in Germany where work and personal life has a clear cutoff, many people don't put their whole self-identity in their job. I think this whole concept is summarized really well in this parable story. Once upon a time, there were two woodcutters named Peter and John. They decided to have a competition to see who could chop more wood the rules were simple. Whoever could produce the most wood in one day wins. So the next morning, both of them took up their positions in the forest and started chopping away in their fastest possible speed. This lasted for an hour before Peter suddenly stopped. When John realized that there was no chopping sound from his opponent's side, he thought, ha, huh, he must be tired already, and he continued to cut down his trees with double the pace. A quarter of an hour passed, and John heard his opponent chopping again. So both of them carried on. John was starting to feel wary when the chopping from Peter stopped once again. Feeling motivated and smelling victory close by, John continued on with a smile on his face. This went on the whole day. Every hour, Peter would stop chopping for 15 minutes while John kept going relentlessly. So when the competition ended, John was absolutely confident that he would triumph. But to John's astonishment, Peter had actually cut down more wood. How did this happen? I heard you stop working for 15 minutes every single hour, exclaimed John. Peter replied, well, it's simple. Every time I stopped working, I was sharpening my axe. Personal time, time to rest, heal, and be a human being outside of work is how we can sharpen our axe. And that is why I started to work like a German. Look it up after. I'm not a That's it. And see, guys, that was great. Good I job. Can see the real, uh, <laughs> that was based on a real fight they had. How long? Ten minutes ago. <laughs>